Hello and welcome, I'm King Gaddy from Search Comprehensive and in this video I will be reviewing the Deflector Pro Sound Monitor from JazzLab. First of all, let me start by saying that I have no affiliation or sponsorship with this product and therefore can give my honest opinion about it. It is a product that I bought for my own personal use and decided to create a video about it. So let's get started. Inside the box you'll find a clip that connects to the appropriate sound mirrors depending on what instrument you play. There is a saxophone, trumpet and trombone sound mirror. You'll also find multilingual instructions and a storage bag so that the mirrors do not get scratched. The sax mirror is ribbed on the side that faces the audience with a pleasant design which is also probably for added strength. The other side that reflects the sound back to the player is smooth. There is a hole towards the bottom of the deflector so that it doesn't block the sound going forward. The sax mirror is made of a transparent polycarbonate material, so it is not so intrusive. The connection at the bottom of the sax mirror has a groove in it, which means that the clip can only be attached one way. The clip has a side screw which can be tightened if the sax mirror is loose and a large turning handle to secure the deflector to the bell of the saxophone. The deflector seems sturdy and the clip does a good job of holding the deflector in place. Some sax players do not like to clip anything to their saxophone as they want to ensure that the bell is not scratched. If this is a concern then you might want to put some foam between the jaws of the clip as it does not have any cushion. Though having said that the jaws are made from a thermoplastic elastomer so the manufacturer has considered this issue. The deflector is well constructed and you can find out what the parts are made of on the JazzLab website. So they obviously want the consumer to understand that the product is made of high quality materials and sold to justify the price. You can rest the saxophone on a stand with the deflector connected, but this would depend on what brand of stand you are using. As you can see from this picture, that it doesn't work with this combination of saxophone and stand. The clip and the turning handle are resting on the stand which may cause damage to the clip or the bell. So it might be a good idea to take the deflector off the saxophone so it can sit properly on a stand like this or use a different type of stand other than the one shown here. I've seen pictures where the deflector does not touch the stand but these stands hold the saxophone further down from the rim. So this might be another thing to consider. So what is the purpose of this product? When you play a saxophone most of the low notes come out of the bell but many higher frequencies come out of the tone holes. Unfortunately, due to the way the saxophone is designed, the bell and tone holes are facing away from the player. This means that most of the sound when you're playing in an open room will travel away from you, making it difficult for you to accurately hear what you are playing. This is especially true if you're playing with other musicians who may drown out your sound. This can become frustrating when trying to develop your tone, articulation or dynamics if you cannot accurately hear yourself. One way to overcome this is to play against a wall since the sound is reflected back to your ears making it possible to hear all the subtle tonal changes. However, if you don't want to face a wall then Jazz Lab's Deflector Pro might be a solution. It works on the same principle as playing against the wall but is adjustable to focus the reflection of the sound to your ears while allowing sound to travel forward by means of a hole in the deflector. In order to make it easier to test this product and for you to be able to hear the difference it makes to the sound, I will place a speaker in the bell of the saxophone and play a tone at the concert pitch of G4. I will also place a microphone in the position where my ear would be if I were playing. This setup would ensure that a tone is sounded at a concert pitch and volume while allowing me the freedom to move the deflector without causing changes in the sound by mistake. I will also include the volume indicators so that you can see as well as hear any changes made to the volume.
So hopefully you heard or you saw from the audio indicator that the Deflector Pro does in fact increase the volume of the sound that you're actually hearing by reflecting some of that sound back to your ears. Even within a small room, I was able to notice the difference. And obviously if you can hear better, then you would be better equipped when practicing on your tone, your articulation and your dynamics. The only problem I have with the deflector is when I put it on my saxophone and I put my, my saxophone on my stand, then it doesn't sit very well. And having to put the deflector on and take it off every time I want to put my saxophone down will become a bit of a nuisance. But obviously for you, if you have a different saxophone stand, then obviously you will not have that problem. The deflector has been out for some time with the Deflector Pro being the later version of it. And I've seen other reviews where people have actually taken this out on gigs and have recommended it. Personally, I like this product. I think it's gonna actually help me in my own practice time. And I think that anything that would help me in my playing is a good thing. Obviously for you, you need to try it out for yourself and then weigh up the pros and the cons to find out whether it will be actually beneficial for you in the way that you actually use your saxophone. But if you do try it out or if you do buy it, let me know how you get on in the comments and I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.